Yeah, I'm probably more nervous about this than the actual <laughs> wedding. Yeah, you should be. You should be. You should be. One, two, three, go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On three, everybody walk away. Are we going up? Yeah, we're going up. One, One two, two, three. three. Thank you all for being here, sharing in this wonderful moment for me and Brooke. Um, <laughs> for Brooke and I. I've been looking forward to giving this speech for about 27 years now. I wasn't sure this day would ever come until the day I was introduced to Eric. Brooke has been my best friend since before I even knew what a best friend was. We've grown up side by side with one always catching the other when we fall. We've learned from each other's mistakes and carried life's lessons passed between us along the way. A friendship may know all of your best stories, but a sister is one who lived them with you. All right, show of hands, who is here for Brooke? Put them up, put them up high. All right, put them down. Who is here for Eric? All right, if you didn't raise your hands both times, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> We're here for both of them. God bless them. Now, the second approach is tough. The first approach is easy, the second is tough, and it's unique. And it's uniquely found here in what you're entering into, in marriage. A covenant relationship is built off of a promise that you make, the vows that you take today. And this is important, because if your relationship is based off of how good the other person makes you feel, even if it's based off of the children that you have, how good you're doing financially, vocationally, those things will come and they'll go. The reason I'm married is because we made a vow to stand by each other through thick and thin. How much can I possibly give to that one person that I pledged my life to? In marriage, you will find out, each of you, that you have flaws and imperfections that you didn't even know you had before. Is character change caused by confrontation. And that is when someone comes and they say, here's an issue that I'm seeing, they're honest about it, they talk about it, and we say, you're right, can, can you forgive me? Can you forgive me? And by doing that, you will be able to help each other grow because you will see each other in a way that nobody else in this entire room will see the other person because you will have the most intimate relationship. It is my pleasure and honor to introduce for, to you for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Eric Bednash. You may kiss the bride. And that's all we've got, folks!